Howdy. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do a second example, another way that they can ask uh, vectors within your physics class. So let's take a look at number two. So it says here that you are camping with your two friends, Soli and Rudder. Since all three of you enjoy your privacy, you don't pitch your tents close together. Soli's tent is 17.5 meters and 26 degrees north of east from yours, while Rudder's tent is 36 meters and 42 degrees south of east from yours. What is the distance between Soli and Rudder's tent? Okay, well, let's first understand what the heck it means north of east, south of east. What, is, what does that mean? Uh, let's try something else first before I get into these. Let's try, like, east. Oh, let's, do, let's do west of south. Let's we'll see where that is. What does that mean, west of south? Okay, well, I know that west is out here and south is right there. And let's do, I don't know, 40, uh, let's not go 45, let's go 10 degrees west of south. What you're going to do is you're going to start south and you literally want to go 10 degrees west of that south, okay? If I wanted something like looking at the north you know, the north of east, right? Let's do the uh, 10 degrees again north of east. Here's east. Here's north. And if I start at east, I literally going to go 10 degrees north of east, okay? So that's how these are going to be um, dealt with. It's important that we understand how to do that. Okay, well, let's get to this problem. So, let's see. So we'll make this our imaginary grid, and let's say, uh, say here's your tent. We'll put our tent right at the origin, and we know this is east, north, south, and west. And what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and call to the right positive x, up positive y. Okay, now it says that Soli's tent is 17.5 meters and 26 degrees north of east, and so... Here's Soli's tent. This is going to be 17.5 meters and 26 degrees right north of east. This will be Soli, right? Because I'm going to go north, 26 degrees north of that east, okay? And then for the next one, Rudder's tent's 36 meters, 42 degrees south of east. So I'm going to start east and I'm going to go 42 degrees south of that, okay? So it's going to look Probably something like this, right? So here's going to be a uh, rudder's tent. That's going to be, what was it, 36 meters. And we're going to go 42 degrees south of that east. Now what I want is I want this distance. I want that distance. Well, man, how am I going to do that? Well, the way that you're going to do that is... Let's find out what this point is, right? I'll find out what this arbitrary point is, and we'll figure that out in a sec. If I can figure out what actually both of these points are, going back to one of the first things we learned about vectors, is we learned how to find the uh, vector from one point to another. Let's go back to that very first page we ever did together. To find a vector from one point to another, we're going to do tip minus tail. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find this vector d. But how does that find me? help me find the length? Well, how do I find the length of a vector? By taking the magnitude of it, okay? So that's going to be our basic strategy, so let's go ahead and hit it. So, let's find out where uh, Soli is. Okay, well, Soli, he is, uh, the x component of Soli is adjacent and positive, so it'll be a positive. The magnitude is 17.5 cosine of the 26 degrees. Okay, and my y component is also positive, but it's opposite this angle. It's a positive, and then 17.5, the opposite means sine of 26 degrees. And so, let's go ahead and put that into our calculator. We're going to have 17.5 cosine of 26 degrees, and that's going to be, we'll call that 15.73. 17.73, and as for the y component, 17.5 sine, right, sine of 26 degrees, it's going to be, what, 7.67. But yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've got, um, we've got Soli's point, cool. Uh, so I know that, so now let's find 
rudder's point. So let's see how rudder's at. Well, the x component of rudder is positive, so it'll be a positive 36. But because it's adjacent to my angle, I'm going to go cosine of 42 degrees. And as for the y component, the y component this time is negative, right? It's going in the negative y direction. So it'll be a negative 36. And because it's opposite my angle, we're going to say sine of 42 degrees. And so rudder, right? Let's see where he's at. And so we're going to go 36 cosine of 42 degrees. We're going to get a 26.75. So this will be 26.75. And as for the y component, this is going to be a negative 36 sine of 42 degrees. And so we're going to get negative 24.09. Negative 24.09. Now the last thing we, or one of the last things we need to do is find my distance vector. And that's going to be the vector from one point to another. And I don't care where you start in this case. It's not going to make a difference. But, um, you know, for, let's just start at rudder, right? Let's start here at rudder, and we'll find the vector from rudder to Soli. And so we'll find the vector from rudder to Soli. And so my tip is going to be S, and my tail is going to be R. So doing tip minus tail, my X component is going to be this 15.73, 15.73 minus the 26.75. And as for the y component, the y component, my tip is going to be 7.67 minus, my tail is going to be negative, so minus a negative 24.09, which, let's go ahead and do that in our calculator, 15.73 minus 26, oops, 26.75, and we're going to get, what, negative 11.02? And then as for the y component, 7.67 minus a negative, so it's plus 24.09, and we get 31.76. And now that I have this vector, the last thing we got to do is find the magnitude of it, because that'll give me that length. And so your final answer, the magnitude of d, is going to be the square root of negative 11.02 squared plus... 31.76 squared. Let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. So let's go ahead and uh, square what we've already got plus the negative 11.02 squared. And then once you have that, we'll take the square root of our final answer. And we get that the distance is 33.62. So 33.62 meters is how far away these guys' tents are. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more. So join me in the next video. What we'll do is we'll do this last example. And after that, that's how vectors are going to be utilized in your physics course.